Hello friends. Today we will learn about measurement of things with different units of measurement of length. Good morning children. Good morning sir. Children, today I will teach you to measure the length of things by using the length of fingers as a unit of measurement. So first of all, I will measure the length of this chalk. This chalk is shorter than one hand span. So here we will take a unit smaller than a hand span to measure the chalk. Why not use our fingers to measure it? Then the length of this chalk will be 1, 2, 3 and 4 fingers. Children, did you understand? Yes, yes, sir. Now let's do an activity. Mintu, Chotu and Golu, give me your pencils. Come on. Yes, yes sir. sir. Here they are. Mintu, come here. Measure these three pencils with your fingers. The first pencil is equal to the length of my four fingers. The second is four plus two, that is six fingers long. And the third pencil is equal to four plus four eight fingers long. Very good, Mintu. Now tell me, which among the three is the longest pencil? Hmm, among these three, this is the longest pencil. Now look at the length of this big scale. It is equal to the length of two times my hand span. Can you determine the length of the smaller scale without measuring? Sir, the smaller scale seems to be of half the length of the bigger scale. Then the length of the smaller scale should be equal to your one hand span. Now look at the length of this table. It is equal to three cubits of my arm. Mintu, now you tell me how long is this table when you measure it with your arm? The length of this table is one, two, three and four cubit of my arm. That's right. Can you tell me why this happened? Yes, sir. Because the length of my arm is shorter than the length of your arm. Well done, Mintu. Now I will give you all a homework, which you have to complete for tomorrow's class. The homework is written on the board. You all should copy it in your notebook. Okay, sir. Hope you had fun, friends. Today, we learnt about measurement of things with different units of measurement of length. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length. Friends, today in this video, we will see some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length. Hey Mintu, what are you doing? I'm doing the homework of my school. So what homework were you given? Sir has asked me to measure the length of the room for homework. Mintu, how will you measure the length of the room from here till here? With my foot length. See, if I measure the length of the room with my feet, then the length of the room is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14 and 15. So the length of this room is equal to 15 foot spans. Absolutely correct. Now write the length of this room down in your notebook. So the length of my room is 15 foot spans. Absolutely correct. Come on, I will give you a few more objects to measure the lengths of. Okay, Chintu. Mintu, how will you measure the length of this carom board? I can easily measure the length of this carom board with my hands. Right, Chintu? Okay then, tell me, what is the length of this carom board? Hmm, one, two, three, four, five and six. The length of this carom board is equal to six hand spans of my palm. Well done, Mintu. Now if you measure this carom board using your arm, then what will be its length? Hmm, one, two and three. The length of this carom board is three cubit length of my arm. Absolutely correct. So we can say that the length of a cubit of your arm is equal to two hand spans of your palm. Now can you determine the length of this chess board? The length of this chess board seems to be half of the carom board. The length of the carom board is equal to six hand spans. So the chess board would be three hand spans long. Oh wow! Absolutely correct! Children, in this video we saw some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length. In the next video, we will learn some interesting facts about measurement of length. Friends, today we will learn some interesting facts about measurement of length. Hey Gotu, are you measuring the length of the dining table? Yes, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. The length of this table is equal to 8 hand spans of my palm. Oh, go to. That is not how you take the measurement. Then how is it done? Look, when you have to measure the length of an object, you measure from one end to another end of it. You have to measure the length of this table from here till here. Okay, I have understood. Then one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The length of this table is equal to ten hand spans of my palm. This is the correct measurement. Now measure this using your arm length as a unit. Hmm. Then the length of this table is one, two, three and four. The length is four cubit length of my arm. No go to. While measuring the length of the table, you have left some space between the two arm lengths. In this way, you can never get the measurement correct. Yes. Okay. Now I have understood. I will measure it again. It would be one Two, three, four and five. The length of this table is five arm length. Yes, now the answer is correct. Thank you, Mintu. Yes, then always keep in mind while measuring the length of any object, 
always measure from one end to another end of the object. Yes, I will keep it in mind. And also make sure to remember that while measuring the length, no space should be left between the units. Yes, I will remember that too. Okay then, let us go and play now. Okay, let's go. Yes, so friends, today we learnt some interesting facts about measurement of length. In the next chapter, that is how many peaks, we will learn to count and depict information. See you! 